Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody, and this is going to be a quick video on overall baseball and the reaction to the my reaction to the opening day game. I'm going to be doing some of these videos on reactions to some of the big games of nights throughout the week when it comes to baseball. And for my hockey fans, I'm also going to do that with the Stanley Cup playoffs for all the games that are really great. Now, normally I'm not I'm not going to do them for blowout games. That did end up being the case of one of the opening day games, but. I do want to react to both opening day games because Johnny Cueto did pitch a good four innings. Obviously, four innings in this league this year when we're coming back, that's more like pitching a five, six inning game in your first start. If you pitch five or six innings, that's almost like pitching the six or seven innings because you're not as game ready. You might have stretched out. You might have been on backfields, but you haven't been pitching in games. And then... Former Phil Drew Smiley came in and gave former Phil's manager, Gabe Kapler, a good inning. Garcia gave him a good inning. Uh, what happened with the Giants was, I believe it's Taylor Rogers. Um, Tyler Rogers is his twin, but he did not pitch well, and he gave up their sidearm or gave up all four of the runs uh, before Menez then got lit up a couple innings later and gave up two. So... Uh, the Giants' bullpen obviously malfunctioned, and that's what gave the Dodgers the win. But everybody thought the Dodgers were going to win that game. And they also had, which we must point out, electric. Obviously, it was very unfortunate that Clayton Kershaw was unable to pitch. His back is bothering him again. That stinks. I really wish he's a guy that would stop getting injured because he's so fun to watch when he's healthy. But Dustin May, a top prospect, the youngest guy to start since Fernando Venezuela in opening day for the Dodgers, came in and did great for four and a third inning himself. He gave up seven hits, sure, but he had four strikeouts. You saw that electric slider and movement, that nasty fastball that gets up there at a high mile per hour, which is nasty breaking ball. This kid is going to mean something. He's going to be a great pitcher in this league. It just depends when and now maybe he has an opportunity to really establish himself for a few starts, depending how long Kirsch is out. He's obviously out for at least another start. So if May gives you another very solid four or five innings in your next start. He's looking really pretty. So that that's really great for him. A couple highlights just overall from the night were Pablo Sandoval, of course, hit a sack fly. He's just a guy that keeps doing all his things. Enrique Hernandez, the Energizer Bunny um, on the Dodgers, had a couple singles and did his thing. He did really well. And then for to cap off the night to get their eighth run on top of a couple of his singles, Enrique Hernandez, the Energizer Bunny for their team, had a homer that scored Justin Turner. So it was a great night for Enrique. He had the stash going. Looking great, looking fly, so you know, all's going well for Enrique Hernandez. But we started with the nightcap game, now we'll go to the NL, where the Yankees, of course, were able to jump on Scherzer early with a bomb into the seats by Stan, who's looking the most lean and mean he's looked in years. And obviously that showed yesterday, because he had that bomb. Then after Eden answered with another bomb, Judge had a double down the line. And then Stan had that single where it wasn't even a strike. He just reached all the way out and poked it down the line. Uh, he looked phenomenal in that game. I guess he was trying to uh, prove any doubters wrong and all that. I mean, obviously, Stan, Stan looked absolutely fantastic uh, in that first game. But his game one, his question's health, not skill. So you hope a guy like him is able to stay healthy for those Yankees fans because he obviously has skill. It's just health that's more the bugaboo for him. But for them, they also had, even though Scherzer gave up runs, like they said in the telecast, he still did great. He had 11 strikeouts. He gave up four runs. But like they said, he's never been scared of giving up the long ball and giving up a couple runs. If that game was able to keep going, you don't know. The Nationals have a good offense. They could have been able to get going. They were really hurt, obviously, by Juan Soto testing positive and then apparently testing negative again. On a when he did multiple tests, but now he has to have the league test him a couple times in the 42 or 48 hour period, excuse me, negative, and then have the 72 hour period and all that, so on and so forth. So he'll probably be out for at least a week, or if not five to set five to seven days minimum. 
So uh, that's a big hit for them. But I do like what I saw from Scherzer yesterday. He was able to still pitch well. He had some good and bad, but he was able to still pitch well. And then, of course, for the Yankees, Garrett Cole came in and pitched great. Five strikeouts, one run, uh, pitched great through five innings, looked very good. And that's exactly what you want to see in the first game for Garrett Cole on their team. That is absolutely fantastic. That's probably one of the better first games by a Yankee on opening day going to Yankee Stadium. Because as we say, some guys struggle when they first get into that stadium, then find it, and then others don't. And so, like, Burnett wasn't as good in New York as he was in other places. James Paxton's been to New York and has been good. He needs to stay healthy for them, obviously, to continue to have them going good. But that's the common premise. Garrett Cole's a great pitcher. He went in there. He proved why he's always a Cy Young contender, and he had a great first start. And this has been a quick reaction video, though, to the opening day games. Obviously, there was a 4-1 win by the Yankees over the Nationals, which is good for us, for the Phillies fan, for us Phillies fans, obviously. And then the Dodgers and Giants isn't as mattersome for that. But the Dodgers won 8-1, to of course. So there's some more great games on the ledger tonight. Obviously, the Phillies have opening day, so look out for my look ahead video to that once the lineups get released later i'm going to do a preview to that so please keep a lookout for that this has been a short video on my reactions to the opening day game it was a great opening day and opening night of baseball yesterday two very good games loved watching those pitchers do their thing and this has been sports fanatic news i'm joe boric have a great and pleasant friday everybody peace out